Hello everyone. So in the last session we were continuing with the concepts of module one, right? Uh, some of the basic things. So we'll continue with that. So we had start, uh, discussed a few first nine slides. Uh, so uh, now we are going to discuss with the classification of signals. Okay, how the classifications are, of signals are uh, done. So classification of signal is done by these four types. Okay, uh, this is just a general four type. There are many many classifications. First is multi-channel versus multi-dimensional signals. Continuous time versus discrete time signals, continuous valued versus discrete valued signals, and deterministic versus random signals. So, in this way, the signals are classified. First, let us see multi channel versus multi dimensional signals. Multi channel signals, signals which are generated by multiple scores or, or uh, sources or multiple sensors are called as multiple channel signals. These signals are represented by the vector form, as you can see here, S of t is equal to. S1 of t, S2 of t, S3 of t, where these signals are performing the multiplication operation. Above signal represents the three channel signals, where this S of t is uh, happening in these three different channels, S1, S2 and S3. Okay. Now, multidimensional signals. A signal is said to be multidimensional if it is a function of m independent variables. Okay. For example, a speed signal is one uh, dimensional signal because amplitude of this signal depends upon the sig uh, signal independent variable, namely Okay, so the, these are the basic multidimensional signals. Next, let us see continuous versus discrete time signal. This is very important. Uh, continuous signal is defined for every values of time. For every instance of time, it is defined uh, differently. Uh, take on values in the continuous interval a comma b, where a can be defined as minus infinity and b can be defined as infinity. Okay, uh, function of a continuous variable, for example, uh, a sine uh, sine wave. Okay, this is one basic sine wave and it is a continuous time signal which would be constant for every interval of time and it varies along the when the time changes. Okay, so this is one continuous time signal. Next is discrete time signal. Uh, it is defined only at discrete instance of time. It is not defined continuously at a particular time. It performs a single operation. Okay, a discrete time sinusoidal signal may be expressed as x of n is equal to uh, that sine variable. Okay, it's not mentioned here where n is the integer variable and a is the amplitude. Okay. So the equation becomes like this, and uh, this, in this way, the discrete time signal uh, waveform is represented. Okay, so please uh, make a good uh, view on it: how continuous time signal is represented and a discrete time signal is represented. Next is continuous valued versus uh, discrete valued signal. If a signal takes uh, on all possible values on a finite or an infinite range, it is said to be continuous valued signal. And uh, if the signal takes place on a finite set of possible values, then it is said to be a discrete valued signal. So this is the digital signal with four different amplitude values and this is the discrete valued signal. Okay. So next let us discuss what is sampling. Conversion of a continuous time signal into discrete time signal obtains by taking samples. Okay. So that's why in order to convert a continuous time signal to discrete sampling time signal, we should be overcoming with this one expression called as sampling. Should be taking one samples for a particular interval of time. Okay. Now uh, these are some of the fundamental things and in this way the sampling is taking place. Okay, this one sample, this one waveform is represented as a single sample. Okay. Next is a digital signal. For digital signal, we need to be going through the process called as quantization. Conversion of discrete time continuous valued signal into a discrete time discrete valued signal is called as quantization. Okay, that is it just takes the average values. For example, here 5.6 and 6. Okay, if it uh, if you do it's minus it will be minus point point four and seven point two uh, it is represented as seven that is just taking the average values okay so that's why this quantization is a very important process. Next is deterministic versus random signals. Any signal that can be uniquely described by an explicit mathematical expression, a table of data, or well-defined rule is called as a deterministic signal. And uh, concept of let's discuss the concept of frequency in continuous time and discrete time signal. Okay. In the next session. So these are in this way the signals are uh, represented. So please uh, go through it very carefully. Okay. So yeah, that's all for this video, guys. So let us see in the next video with some other concepts. Thank you.